Hello, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and welcome to this Logic Pro quick tip on how to apply time compression and expansion to loops in Logic Pro 10. Uh, this also works for Logic 9 and Logic 8. I'm just using 10 because it's the newest version. Uh, so what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how to take a loop like this, and uh, I just have a guitar loop that is a, uh, about uh, three and three quarters uh, measures in length. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to compress it and stretch it to meet the tempo of my project, which is 120 BPM, and the loop itself is only 90 BPM, so it's a little bit longer than two bars. So up at the top here, we can see the ruler, which shows us how many bars we have. And uh, because most loops are in increments of 2, 4, or 8, or 16, uh, I'm going to show you I can make this four measures long and also two measures long. By the way, if you're using a loop from Logic's media browser, there's no need to do this because those loops can automatically conform to tempo changes that you make. So what we're going to do is go up to the snap mode up here and choose bar. And what this does is it allows us to conform any edits that we make to the bars on the grid, to the measures uh, in our song. So what you do is you uh, bring your mouse over the right side of your clip here and you hold option, you get this little icon in your cursor. You can drag to the left and it will compress the audio. And then you can just hover over the upper right side and you can drag the audio out to loop it as many times as you want. So let me hit Command Z a couple times to uh, undo those edits. And this time I'm gonna hold option and drag to the right to expand the audio so it plays a little slower and is now a four bar loop rather than a two bar loop. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section below.